Hello everyone, it's Rob here. Just with a very quick message before your video starts, I just wanted to remind you that the Draw With Rob activity book is out now. You can get it right now. And if you like these videos, I think you'll really like this book. It's full of lots of the draw alongs of your favorite characters um, and then loads of other stuff like puzzles, um, coloring pages. There's bits where I've started a drawing off and you need to finish it. There's even um, a nice certificate for you at the end if you complete all the activities in this book um, and you can fill in. There's a page which you have to write all about yourself, your favorite things and draw a self portrait, that kind of thing. So I think you'll really like it. Okay, that's enough for me. You need to watch your video. Here it is, your Draw With Rob video. Have fun. Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Draw With Rob. With me, Rob Bidoff. Now then, I am a children's author and illustrator. Maybe you've seen some of my books. Have you seen this one? It's called Blown Away. It's all about a penguin who goes out flying his kite on a windy day and has all sorts of adventures. Now this book here you probably won't have seen because do you know what? At the time of recording, at least, it's not out yet. It comes out in a couple of days time. It's called Dog Gone and it's a story all about this pug here called Teddy who loses his human while they're out on a walk together. And you know what? I'm really proud of this story. It's a really fun story. I had to draw lots and lots and lots of doggies for this story. So I really hope if you do see a copy of that and you buy it and you read it, I really hope you enjoy it. But you know what? Why are we here today? Why do you think we are here today? Why are we always here for these Draw With Rob episodes? We are here to draw a picture together, aren't we? There we go, that's my piece of paper. Now then, I was having a little think about what we could draw together. And I'm actually, I was drawing a book for another author called Philip Arder. Um, do you remember um, Draw With Rob video number 28? It was Furry Purry Bean Cat, it was a pussy cat. And I was I illustrated the furry purry bean cat stories for Phil, big Phil I call him because he's really tall. And um, in the book that I was illustrating, there were lots of this particular animal, the animal I've decided that we should draw today. Now this animal is very small, and it's a mammal. Now it's no, it's not the smallest mammal there is. I'm sure there must be much smaller mammals than this. In fact, you know what? Would you like to, me to do a little bit of an education station for you? Let's do it. Let's look up what the world's smallest mammal is. There we go. This creature here is the world's smallest mammal. <gasps> Very cute. Isn't it? I hope it is. <laughs> I don't know what it is yet. I'm going to look it up afterwards. But we are not drawing one of these today. We are going to draw a mouse. A very cute little mouse. I thought it's high time that we did one of these guys and because I've been drawing them during the week I thought I know how to do these. I'll show everybody how to draw one when it comes to recording my next Draw With Rob video. So what you're gonna need is a piece of paper. You're gonna need something to draw with, a pen or a pencil. You might need something to colour with a bit later on but don't worry if you haven't got anything to colour with you can just shade in with your pencil that's absolutely fine. Right shall we get going? Let's not muck about, let's just start, shall we? Right, we are gonna start very simply. Towards the bottom of your page, I want you to draw just a small horizontal line, about that long. So what's that, a centimeter, centimeter and a half, something like that. And then from the left-hand end, I want you to draw another straight line, but this time it's gonna be a vertical line, about the same length, I would say, a couple of centimeters. Right. Now from this end of that first line that we drew, I want you to come up a little way, curve around and head back about halfway across your line, like that. It's a little curved shape. And then from that end, we're gonna draw another vertical line. It goes to the same height as this one here. I wonder if you can guess which part of the mouse this is. I'm sure you can. <laughs> right, from this side here where we just finished, we are now gonna come out and we're gonna curve around and we're gonna head upwards to about there. So that sort of size in a sort of J shape. And then from that point, we are gonna come out again. We're gonna come out a bit further this time, so a bit longer that way. And then we are gonna curve around again and head up our page. 
So it's a similar curve shape to this one here, but it's just a bit sort of longer and not quite as tall, if you see what I mean. Let's go back down to here now. This time, we are gonna come up in this direction from here. We are gonna curve around. We're gonna keep on curving around. We're gonna go up there. We're gonna curve all the way around here. And we're gonna join up with this shape, like that. Okay, I'm sure you're starting to see our mouse take shape. Let's let's wake let's wake him or her up, shall we? Let's draw a nice circle here for an eye, just like that. And shall we add a pupil? Do you remember my little trick with the pupil? If we want our mouse to be looking at us, we're not going to draw it right in the middle. We're going to draw it slightly to the left, just slightly to the left. And I, as I always say, I don't know why that is, but it just makes our mouse look at us. Let's give him or her a few eyelashes, shall we? Three, four, let's give five. Why not five today? And a little eyebrow up here. Having a perfectly pleasant day, this little mouse. Should we give our mouse a name? I think this mouse here, this is a boy mouse, and I think his name is going to be Justin. I don't know why. Where did that come from, Justin? I just think he looks a bit like a Justin. Let's give Justin a nice smiley mouth, shall we? So from this little corner here, we're just going to draw a small smiley mouth, like that. Lovely. Should we give Justin another leg, actually? I'm sort of di darting around this drawing a little bit. I keep thinking of things to do, so sorry about that, but that's just how it works sometimes, isn't it? Let's give Justin another leg. What we're going to do, we're going to draw another vertical line there, but we're not going to join it up with this foot here, we're just gonna sort of copy that foot instead. And we're gonna put it behind like that. So it's a nice, easy way to draw two feet. Let's give Justin a nose. From here, we're just gonna draw a curved line that joins up these two lines and sort of goes across this corner here. So a nice, easy nose. Whiskers, mice, famous for their whiskers, aren't they? aren't they? So let's just draw three little lines. We're not going to quite touch the nose, I don't think. One, two, three, quite thin lines. And then we'll do them coming out the other side of the nose. One, two, three. And I have drawn them touching this bit of the nose because they, a bit like this foot, they are behind the nose, aren't they? I can hear a dog barking outside my studio. Who do you think that might be? It's Ringo. Excuse me for a second, I'm just going to let Ringo in, because otherwise he'll keep on barking. Come on then, boy. In you come. Come on, you're going to get in your bed. There we go. You lie down. I don't want you disturbing me. I'm drawing a very important picture of a mouse called Justin for these guys watching this video. <laughs> it's a bit windy out there today. Maybe Ringo was a bit chilly, so he's come in. He's snuggling down on his bed. He has a bed in my studio, you see. Right, where was I? Yes, so we've just drawn the nose and the whiskers, haven't we? Right. Now, an arm. Now, to be honest, real mice, they sort of scurry around on four legs, really, don't they? But we are drawing a cartoon now, so our mouse is standing up. So he needs, Justin needs an arm. So what we're gonna draw, just about here, a sort of tall U shape. Very similar to when I draw dinosaurs. So some of you might have drawn Gregosaurus and Nancy and Otto and Winnie, people like that with me people like that, dinosaurs like that with me. And this is exactly how I draw their arms too. We draw the U shape and then we add usually four little claws like that. Claws, I suppose mice do have claws. Doesn't sound right, does it, mice having claws? I associate claws with sort of slightly bigger, scarier animals like dinosaurs or tigers and things, but I suppose mice have claws too, yeah. Right, tummy. What I want you to draw now is a very thin line. So I use these nice brush pens. So if I press lightly, I get a thin line. If I press a bit harder, I get a thick line like this. So I'm gonna press very lightly here. And just next to that first leg that we drew, I'm gonna draw a curve that comes up, turns around, and goes to about here. So about halfway up his tummy. And it just creates another little area of tummy for us, which will come in handy when we're doing our coloring a bit later. Right then. Starting to really take shape, this little mouse. I like him a lot. 
you're doing a good job of being drawn, Justin. Right then, mice, they're famous. I would say mice are famous for two things, maybe three things if you include the whiskers. So we're gonna start with whiskers. The next thing, body part that mice are famous for is, what do you think? That's right, the ears. They have lovely big ears, don't they? So we are gonna draw a great big ear. Now the ears are quite easy the way that I draw them. They're just great big circles. What I want you to do is draw a circle that just touches the side of Justin or whatever your mouse is called, just touches the side of his head about here. So from here, we're gonna go out and around. We draw quite big ears, I think, about this size. Yes, that's good. So try and draw a nice big perfect circle, but do you know what? Perfect circles are not very easy to draw. Notoriously difficult, in fact. So don't worry at all if yours isn't perfect. In fact, it's better, I think, if it's not quite perfect. There we go, mine's not perfect, is it? But you know, that will do. Really does look like a mouse now, doesn't it? So then what I want you to draw is another circle just inside that, but again, I'm gonna do my little trick of not pressing very hard so I get a nice thin line. This is going to be the sort of the inside of the ear. The I always call it the lining of the ear. <laughs> like that. There we go. And of course they have two ears, so we're going to draw another circle behind that first one. So we're just going to draw roughly the same size. And it comes out of this area of the head and joins up there. And this you wouldn't see the lining because the ears sort of face outwards, don't they? So we can see this one, but we wouldn't see the other one. Very good, very nice. Right, the final thing, we've got one more thing to draw and I think this is the thing that mice are most famous for. What do you think it is? What is missing from this drawing? That's right, the tail. Mice are famous for having lovely, long, curly tails. So this is where I want you to have a bit of fun. You can go mad, you can go crazy with this tail. If you want, you can do a little short tail, that's fine. But I think it'd be really fun to do a lovely, long, curly tail. Maybe yours is going to go all the way around your page, I don't know. I'm going to do mine like this. So we're going to start, it's going to be near our mouse's bottom. Okay, that's where we're going to start. We are going to come out. I think I'm going to do this up. I'm going to go down. I'm going to come up again and then I'm going to, I know I'm going to finish in my favourite thing. One of these little swirls. You know how much I love drawing my little swirly bits. You just have to look at my signature on my books, don't you, to see how much I love drawing swirly bits. And look at that! A lovely wiggly mouse tail. And that's pretty much it. Um, I know, there's a bit of space here, isn't there? What could I put in this space here? What do mice like? Jeez, that's right. Now, do you know what? I am not actually sure that mice do like cheese. I think this is something that has been told to us Usually in cartoons, Tom and Jerry, if you, any of you remember Tom, of course you don't know Tom and Jerry. I'm a very, very old person. I remember Tom and Jerry, but you probably don't. But Tom and Jerry is one of my favourite cartoons ever. And if you haven't heard of them, you should look them up. They're really, really fun. But in cartoons like Tom and Jerry, um, Jerry the mouse always loved a bit of cheese, didn't he? So, uh, do you know what? I really don't know whether mice like cheese. Should we have another education station? Shall we see? I'll put up some information here. Basically, yeah. Rob, do mice like cheese? And there's your answer. Who knew? Maybe they do, maybe they don't. Either way, I'm just gonna draw a little piece of cheese here for this mouse, just to fill up my little bit of space here. And I'm gonna try not to smudge my drawing. Okay, so this is how I'm gonna draw the cheese. A vertical line. We're gonna draw another vertical line here, but I'm drawing it about the same height, but slightly, can you see, slightly lower. So our first one was there, and our second one just slightly lower. Then I'm going to join them up. And because one's lower than the other, the line isn't dead straight, it's slightly diagonal. You'll see why in a second. Okay. Then from this top corner, I'm going to draw a slightly curved line, and exactly the same down here. Then I'm going to join those slightly curved lines up, but not in a dead straight line. I'm going to go up to about here, I'm going to draw a sort of semicircle, then I'm going to keep on going up here. Then from here I'm going to join this point and this point up, but again I'm going to add in another one of those little semicircles about there, just one of them, and then I'm going to join it up. And look, we've drawn a sort of triangular block of cheese, and it's that cheese that has little holes in it, so I'm just going to add a few more little holes here. 
over our cheese. What cheese is that? Is it Swiss cheese that has the holes in it? And I'm even going to draw one that goes around the corner, like that, a little hole. And I just think that adds a nice bit of detail to our drawing. You can either, even if you want, you can just colour that bit in. If you just leave a little shape like that, it makes it look sort of a bit more sort of, sort of 3D. go. A lovely bit of Swiss cheese. Actually I'm changing my mind. I'm getting rid of the 3D bit. I wasn't keen on it. <laughs> Looks a bit funny. I'm just going to colour them in. Here we go. A little bit of cheese for our mouse to nibble on after we finish drawing him. Right. Pretty much done now in terms of all the line work. Should we do some colouring? Now it's up to you what colour your mouse is. Lots of mice are grey or white or brown or light brown, all sorts of colours. So I think go for it, do whatever you like. I might give mine a little pink nose, a little pink ear lining, but we'll see. I might change my mind when I pick up my pencils. Either way, I'm gonna see, I'm gonna go into super speed mode, so I will see you back here in about 30 seconds with a lovely coloured in mouse. Here we go, you ready? Three, two, one, let's go. Coloured in mouse, what do you think? Well, I think mine's a field mouse, I think. That's why it's this sort of nice browny colour with little bits of pink here and there. Sometimes when you colour in with coloured pencil, if you've used pen, you have to go back over the top of your pen a bit because the pencil sort of dulls the ink a little bit. So I sometimes do a bit of that. Like on these whiskers, for example, let's just go back over the top of these whiskers here because I coloured straight over the top of them. There we go, that's a bit better, isn't it? And speaking of going over the top of the coloured pencil, I forgot to draw the little claws down here. So just to add three little lines, just like that, to each foot. And here we have some lovely little claws on our mouse's foot. What's my mouse called? Justin, isn't it? Yeah, Justin. What do you think? Justin's got a bit of cheese there. I've added my little bit of shadow around the areas that are on the surface just to make it look like they're on something. A little trick for you there. And I'm pretty pleased with my little Justin here. I think he's pretty cool. Right, the last thing that we have to do, of course, is sign our drawings. There we go, Rob added the little curl to match the tail curl. And there we go. I wonder how you guys have got on. Well, do you know what? You can show me how you've got on, can't you? Because you can get your grown-up to take a picture of your picture. And if you share them on social media using the hashtag drawwithrob, then I will get to see it. And I would really love to see your drawings of mice. I think this is gonna be a really good one. And then who knows, maybe your drawing will make the grid at the end of the day. Listen, I hope you've all had fun doing this with me today. I certainly have. I'm gonna be back very soon with another Draw With Rob video. Until then, take care of yourselves. Goodbye everyone. See you soon.